Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot and we are going to be trying snacks from every single country around World Showcase. This is one of my favorite things to do. A lot of people don't know that there's merchandise locations in each country that sell snacks that you would find in like 7-Elevens and convenience stores like potato chips and candies and I thought it would be fun to come out and try some and show you. So we're going to eat some food, ride some rides and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day anywho let's go do this it is such a beautiful day to be hanging out in Epcot the temperatures are in the low 90s and it's expected to feel like 103 out and uh, we're just gonna do a lap around world showcase try to stay cool and eat some snacks from around the world kind of couldn't ask for a better day I have made these videos before in the past and it's always great because Epcot keeps on rotating their stock and merchandise and it changes so I'm able to come back and do different videos without trying the same snacks and it's such a cool thing to do for anyone that's ever wanted to travel the world. It's something I've always wanted to do and now that I've actually traveled the world and been to other countries I think it's so cool. Like when I went to Japan I was obsessed with Lawson's and Family Mart's and 7-Elevens and trying the different flavored potatoes chips and snacks they add there and it's cool that you get to do it here so it's gonna be a fun day full of uh, unique snacks and fun memories <laughs> Epcot's World Showcase has 11 different countries all around World Showcase and in each one of those country pavilions it uh, has like little uh, merchandise location that sells snacks, chips like I said and we're just going to make our way around. You have Mexico, Norway, China, Germany, Italy, the American Adventure, Japan, Morocco, France, the United Kingdom and Canada and if any of you guys live in any of these countries let me know what kind of snacks you have and if these snacks are the same price or how much you know, it costs in your country. I always think it's, it's cool to hear from people around the world. When I say unique snacks, I'm talking about things that I just wouldn't commonly see in like your everyday 7-Eleven or Walgreens here in the United States. Some of these things could be, you know, very popular in other countries. And it's really awesome to see the unique different flavors that people like to usually pick up on their route to work. You know what I mean? Uh, like I've tried, uh, like they were like little uh, like dried crabs, like soft shelled crabs that you eat like whole. I remember last time when I was feeling the pinchers going on my throat in Japan, they also have like melon Kit Kats. They have really cool uh, uh, maple candy in uh, the Canada Pavilion. And it's just like I said, something really fun to do. You can start in any direction you want. I'm starting here in China and then making my way uh, down towards Norway, Mexico, and then over to Canada and uh, kind of just do the whole lap. But look at how beautiful China is right now. So peaceful and quiet. This is also a really cool alternative to drinking around the world if you don't drink. Or it could be something you could add to your next drinking around the world mission. Instead of just getting drinks, get drinks and a snack. Either way, it is fun and it's something uh, the whole family can enjoy. And I'll try to add the price in of each snack so you can kind of figure out how much it costs per person uh, to come and experience uh, snacking around the world at Epcot. If you make your way all the way to the back of the China Pavilion, you'll see the House of Good Fortune. And this is where all the good snacks are at. Holy moly! <laughs> Whoa, oh, holy moly, guys! What? <laughs> That was so cool. I just ran into a family that were all wearing my uh, Paging Mr. Mario Tiki Roosevelt shirt. And it's kind of funny because I'm actually teasing one of the new shirts I have coming out uh, this uh, Saturday, July 20th. Uh, these are going to be on Roosevelt's site and along with a couple of other shirts. So follow me on Instagram and I'll be uh, talking about more. But July 20th, new uh, Paging Mr. Mario Roosevelt uh, uh, merchandise and I'm excited but yeah, now we'll make our way back into the house of good fortune <laughs> Like I mentioned, the House of Good Fortune has all of the really cool snacks from China. And I love how it's just so open. You can walk around. It's actually very peaceful here today. It's like the best day to come to Epcot. Oh, and it even has some AC. Usually, they have really cool, like, different flavored potato chips. 
a lot of the bags of chips don't tell you their flavors like right on the front of the bag some of them do like for instance this is a roasted cumin lamb skewer flavored potato chip that actually looks pretty good and then this one when you look at it you really don't see anything except for like the the food in the, the uh, top corner but if you turn it around and look on the back this is uh oh artificial pork ball flavored potato chips pork ball potato chips and then they have roasted garlic oyster flavored ones right here Ooh, and then fried crab that's kind of cool they have all different types of flavors it's really interesting and it's oh this one oh this one's gonna have to be in the back oh yeah this is prawns i think we've seen that one already this is spicy crawfish that's italian red meat flavor Oh my lanta, is this like pasta sauce? Red meat flavor, I gotta get these. That's one, I'm gonna get, I gotta try this. They have a bunch of other really cool snacks and I'm thinking I should try something uh, other than just potato chips. Ooh, these look really cool. Oreo cookie, oh wow, this is Oreos. Look at this, this is an Oreo cookie roll. I don't know what flavor it is, it's too, uh, too tiny to tell but I want to get this. Look, it's $3.95 for this box. Yeah, $3.95. That's not too bad. So I ended up getting some of the Lay's chips and the Oreo rolls because I thought they were cool. And the Lay's chips cost uh, $5.86 total for a bag. And originally, I was just going to get the Italian red meat flavor, which I did end up getting it because it sounds good. And I think I'm going to enjoy this. Like, I'm going to enjoy eating them. But then I was like, you know what, Nate? You're gonna try something different. You're gonna do something outside your comfort zone. And uh, I ended up getting this Lay's. Now this is one of the ones where the flavors aren't on the bag and it's uh, just pork ball. And I can't read anything because even the back is all in uh, like not uh, English. Uh, so uh, we got some chips and we got some Oreo rolls. In fact, I wonder if I should start with this one. I'm gonna start with the Oreo roll. Might as well. Oh wait, nope, never mind. Well, at least I can just seal it back up. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Look at that. Very interesting. And I'm going to break it in half so I can see what's on the inside first. I see a little green, so I'm guessing it's matcha. And uh, here we go. It's dusted. It's like Oreo dusted. Mmm. Now that I know that these exist, I want to try other flavors. Like I said, it's got a nice little dusting on there, but uh, they're very cool. Very fancy. I'm glad we found them. I'll save the pork ball for last. Now it's time to dive into the Italian red meat flavor. And I'm thinking this is going to be like a, in a, uh, like a spaghetti or a pizza flavored or a pasta flavored chip. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, yeah. Ah, lots of little dusting on there red meat flavored and honestly it tastes like 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 kind of like meat tomato sauce like tomato sauce like meat sauce it literally tastes like meat sauce literally tastes like meat sauce and i love it i'm glad we got those other chips because this isn't much of a challenge for me at all i love them i enjoy them and it literally looks just like that picture it tastes just like red meat sauce and uh i'm not gonna be able to eat everything obviously so i brought a nice little bag with me so i can keep all the extras seal them up tight and uh, save them for another day. Well, so far I loved the Oreo rolls and I loved the meat sauce potato chips, but now it's time to try imitation stewed artificial pork ball flavored potato chips. It's a mouthful. <laughs> it, it, honestly, the bags look pretty. I'm gonna give it a smell first. Oh, not bad. Oh, they're ruffles. They're wavy, I mean. Oh, should I do one chip, two chip? Uh, I'll do two chip. Look at that. You got some dusting on there. Looking good. Hmm. I wouldn't say I like them more than the Italian red meat sauce, but this is actually pretty good. It's got a unique flavor, and I like the wavy chips. Very cool. It's just cool kind of hanging out here, too. I'm eating my pork ball potato chips. Look at the view I got. I'm going to spin the camera around. Isn't that so nice? I'm in the garden listening to the music. <laughs> Not too shabby, but we got our bagger. Time to save these and uh, get moving along to the next country. I think we're going Norway. 
and we made it to Norway. Look at that. We got the gods of the Vikings. That's a nice little exhibit. And uh, we'll make our way to the back of the pavilion. That's where the merchandise location is. If they don't have anything good there, then we're coming back out to the bakery. Always could find good uh, Norwegian treats in there. Inside the Norway pavilion, they have a bunch of different candy and chocolates from uh, Norway. They have different candy bars, stoop waffles, they have red raspberries, uh, little Swedish thins up here. I've had the Swedish thins before, but this time I think I just want to get a little chocolate bar. Norwegian chocolate. I'm sure some countries are going to have more offerings than the other. Norway here doesn't have much. They have a lot of candy. And you'll see like a different variety of different snacks. In Italy, we'll get like uh, like literally cakes. They have like literally pre-packaged cakes. Mexico, I don't know what to look forward to. And Japan, Japan is literally anything goes. <laughs> I ended up getting the chocolate, but I do want to stop into the bakery though. They always have really nice sweet treats in here. And I wanted to show you guys some of them. Oh, wow. Anything with a glass case is good by me. Some school bread, some lefsa. Ah, I like it. Well, I decided on just getting some Norwegian candy here. And uh, honestly, I'm kind of shocked by the price. It was $8. I, well, I got my annual pass discount, luckily, but $8. Let me know if you're from Norway how much this candy bar would cost in your country. And I'm kind of excited. It's called Folklore. I can't exactly pronounce it right, but they said it's very good chocolate and it has uh, hazelnuts in it. So I think we're just going to dive in. Hopefully, oh wait, I didn't learn my lesson because last time I got milk chocolate and it ended up melting everywhere on me. Look at that. I'm not going to take it out of the wrapper because I don't want it to, oh, you know what? It's already broken. It's already soft. But I bet you it's got a lot of hazelnuts in there. Yeah. That is delicious chocolate. I love the hazelnuts in there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to carry this with me. So I'm going to have to eat as much as I can because... I can't reseal it and it is melting already. I already got chocolate fingers. The hazelnut adds a nice little touch to it and it's very creamy. It's not very rich chocolate. And I kind of like it. That's how I like my chocolate. Ooh, who would have known? Enough of Norway though. I think we're going to keep chugging along and make our way to Mexico. Look at this though. Honestly, I couldn't have picked a better day to come to Epcot. Along with the polos, they're going to have t-shirts with like a little character on uh, on them. And I'm excited for this next release. And I'm excited that, you know, I get to run into people in the parks. It really blows my mind when I get to see people wearing shirts and stopping. I fangirl. Like, I chase people down when I see the, like my shirt in the park. I'm like, yo, that's mine. Like, I get excited. So thank you guys so much. You're making my dream come true. <laughs> We're going to make our way into the Mexico Pavilion. Like I said, I'm not too sure what we're going to find here, but at least we'll get some AC for a little bit. I mean, this is like my favorite part when you walk in here and it hits you, that cold AC. Remember me. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Honestly, they have a lot more than they had last time I came here. A bunch of different offerings. I noticed that they have like coffee liqueur, like truffles right here, like a big container of them. They even have an Irish cream one. And then I saw these toffees right here. I'm kind of interested in these. Look at this, taffy with pecans. Pretty interesting. I mean, I, I think in the last time I had some of this uh, chocolate and it was so good. This one right here. And it literally says authentic Mexican uh, chocolate and I loved it. So now maybe we'll do some taffy. I think this is actually a good choice. Hopefully the packaging is individual. I didn't check. But uh, let me know if you guys have ever had these before. It costs $3.49 inside the Mexico Pavilion. I think we're just going to dive in individually packaged oh yeah look at that it's like a little caramel these i can take with me so i can just try one and then uh keep the rest oh wow this is gonna be really sticky look at this oh boy nothing like some sticky toffee on a 90 degree florida hot july day that was definitely too big of a bite 
Like, look at the size of that. I don't know why I did that. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's all gone now. And uh, it's pretty good. I, it's definitely just a caramel candy. I don't know why I thought it was taffy. I just read taffy. I thought it was going to be like a pecan taffy, but toffee. <laughs> It's probably not the best snack to be having on a hot July day here in Florida. And I probably should have taken it just a small bite instead of tossing it in my mouth like it was a Warther's. But it was pretty good. It was pretty nice. And now I have the, the, the whole box that I can keep with me. Maybe give to some of my friends. No sugar added. No sugar. Huh. Well, now I think we're going to keep moving along. Start making our way uh, towards Canada. But I'm going the wrong way. I have to go this way. Yeah, yeah. eventually maybe we'll hop on a ride. I was thinking about the Grand Fiesta Tour, but I want to at least get three, maybe like five countries done first. We're not even halfway there. We got a long way to go. It's really nice walking around World Showcase without any festivals going on. The next festival is Food and Wine Festival, and that's going to be August 29th. And we got a busy schedule for the next couple of weeks. Uh, if anyone's going to be at San Diego Comic-Con, I'll be at San Diego Comic-Con this year. Saturday, July 27th uh, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Roosevelt's booth. I'll do a little meet and greet so anybody can come by and just say hi. And then we have D23, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, uh, Halloween Horror Nights, a whole bunch of cool things so a lot of fun videos to come in the head uh, and now we got uh, some more fun here at Epcot and making our way over to Canada we made our way over to Canada and look how beautiful it is over here I love coming and hanging out in Canada and we're gonna go up to the Northwest Mercantile this is where they normally have some of the you know Canadian snacks and uh, see if we can find anything good they normally have a lot of cool walking space up there, but it's closed at the moment. And I'm not too sure what we'll find in here, but normally we'll get some good treats. Oh, look, we got maple candies right here. Oh, lots of, oh, they had even maple popcorn bagged up. That's actually really awesome. Look at that. And then they have maple popsicles. Now this is a cozy little area over here and I ended up getting the maple popcorn. Look at this. Because it's individually bagged so it's, I think it's different popcorn than the one they have out front. And then I also got a maple leaf uh, popsicle. I'm excited for the popcorn though. Ooh. I don't think it's going to be as good as the popcorn from the cart because it's not as fresh but it's pretty good. I like it. And it's good for a nice little snack. But it was $10, $10 for this bag. 10 bucks for a bag of popcorn. <laughs> now for the maple leaf pop right here. This was $3.99 and look at that. Honestly, I'm probably gonna think it's good even though uh, it's uh, like I said, 100% maple syrup. It's just gonna be like maple-y. But uh, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna actually just like walk around with it in my mouth all day. I mean, I'm all for pancakes and such, but I don't know about a hot maple pop on a, you know, July day. Ooh, it's very sticky. Ooh, boy. Like, it's literally stuck to the wrapper. Oh, there we go. Got to make sure you get that off. There we go. Oh, some metal, I think, right here still. Bottom. And there we go. I don't mind it, but I can definitely see how it would be good to, like, stick into some tea and stir around. Until then, you know, I'm just going to... Mm. Just gonna walk around with it. Mm. Unless you're looking to take something home with you, I would definitely get the maple popcorn from the stand here. And, and you know, I mean, this would be good to actually take home, but uh, I do like it, like I said. And I like my little popsicle here. We're gonna keep moving along. I think uh, United Kingdom is next. Look at that. We're making progress. I'm not going to lie. I think I have to give up on the popsicle. The maple's starting to get to me. That's a lot of sugar. It's a very mapley maple pop. <laughs> we made it to the United Kingdom. And I think we're going to head into the sportsman's shop. And let me tell you something. I'm still shocked at how empty it is here today at Epcot. There's like nobody in the United Kingdom. Nobody in the Rosen Crown. We're just walking around, snacking, having the park to ourselves. Kind of couldn't be happier. There's a lot of different snacks in here. They've got some potato chips, savor smiths. I like this truffle and rosemary. I might want to get that. They got jammy dodgers, milky bar. They've got uh, Turkish delights. 
I think I've had a lot of these before. I just got back uh, from uh, Disneyland Paris and uh, London. Oh, I had that orange one before. That one's pretty good. And look, we got a couple down here too. Oh, here's a Turkish Delight. They also have a bunch of different gummies and licorices. They got taverns, Henry Goods, English creamy toffee, fruit gums. I'm not too sure. I remember getting these last time and I was like, oh, that's pretty expensive. Oh, $5.95. So $6 for these. Honestly, I think I'm going to get the potato chips. Maybe the potato chips and uh, one of these little chocolate bars. Maybe a milky bar. I don't think I've ever had that. For the United Kingdom, I decided on getting the truffle and rosemary potato chips. I've never had these before. And these were $8.99, so $9 for a bag of chips. And then a milky bar. This was $6 for this. And I'm just delicious, smooth and creamy, made for sharing. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I've never had this before. I think I'll start with this first. Look at that. Mmm. Very creamy, very nice. Now, wait, I don't know if white chocolate misses with uh, truffle and rosemary very well. They smell truffly. They smell truffly. <laughs> Look at that. You can see them on there. Wow. I like them. It's definitely truffle forward. It tastes a little bit of the rosemary, but it's got kind of like a kettle taste to it and the white chocolate doesn't taste too bad with the truffle white chocolate truffle rosemary oh never mind well oh. i'm gonna have to say the truffle milky rosemary potato chip mix was not a good idea but i do enjoy each of them on their own and it was kind of fancy it's kind of cool luxurious handcrafted british chips with style kind of like that this is something that definitely takes a long time. I've been here since 10 a.m. and it's three o'clock already. Holy moly, where did the time go? It's crazy. I'm just kind of casually hanging out. I'm enjoying the park like I said, it's so empty. And I'm just like, you know, just walking around snacking. Just walking around snacking. <laughs> but now it's time we keep moving along and we make our way to France. Look at that. I can see the Eiffel Tower and the fountains and hopefully some good snacks. I just got back from a trip to France and I definitely appreciate the detail that Disney puts into the France Pavilion here. It reminds me of walking around Paris and uh, I'm not too sure what snacks they have here either. I'm gonna go look around. I remember last time we got those little chocolate wines. Oh, they got shortbreads. Ooh, look at all these fancy things. Oh, and that butter cookies right here. That's kind of cool. I might get a butter cookie shortbread or, oh, what is this? Rose biscuits. Wow, that seems cool. I wasn't expecting to find a dozen of pink biscuits uh, in the France uh, pavilion, but I felt like I should get them. And this was $9.99. Now, I did get myself a little bubbly. I wanted to get bubbly blessed with my pink biscuits so uh might as well open them up and give them a try i hope they're individually wrapped like the other ones like i was talking about look at this like i can't believe this is 10 bucks this is a, wow that's a lot of biscuits holy moly <laughs> this is so interesting right now pull them out oh they're they're a little crispy look at that got some powdered sugar on there don't breathe it in Get my little champagne and my pink biscuit. Wow. They really do put a lot of powdered sugar on the biscuits though, and they cause a little bit of a mess, but I'm kind of glad I got them. That was a unique experience. I kind of wish it was a little softer. I don't taste like rose. I just taste biscuit and powdered sugar. But, I mean, that's not a bad taste either. Uh, and uh, now I got 11 more. 11 more biscuits. I do like how it's all packed up like this. And like I said, I got a lot of biscuits in there. At least I can wrap them up and add it to the collection. I'm going to put those biscuits back in the box. You know, it's kind of cool just sitting here sipping on some brute and eating some pink biscuits around World Showcase. Ooh. 
Sorry, I always just love the, the, the scenery as we're walking around. And even when I'm making these videos, I'm just enjoying it along with you. But enough of the biscuit business. I think we should make our way to Morocco. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna get anything in America since it's kind of the point of the video is to try things that you normally wouldn't see in America, like gas stations and convenience stores. So we might skip that and, uh, you know, just keep chugging along, making our way. Sadly, Morocco doesn't have any merchandise location snacks. They have this one store here, but it doesn't have anything in it. Just uh, different clothing that say Morocco on it. Closest thing we can do is maybe grab a dessert over here, but it's not what we were kind of going for in the video. You can get an assorted of like uh, an assort Moroccan pastries. They have that available and then some frozen slushies and sangrias. But I think we might just save it and just move along to Japan. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say we'll have to pass on Morocco. I thought about getting some of the nuts like that they have in the back, but it's just like a snack mix. It's nothing anything signature to Morocco. And Japan is next, and they'll probably have more than one thing that we can try because I love it. It's like my favorite country to come try snacks at. And there it is, Japan, we made it. We're making some good time now. This, like I said, is probably one of the biggest pavilions. They have almost, I think, four restaurants. They have, have Teppanito, the restaurant down here, restaurant in there, quick service over there. And it's definitely got the biggest shops too. They've got so much store, like space and merchandise things that you can buy from Japan. And we're gonna get some cool snacks, some Kit Kats and maybe some crabs. This store goes all the way back and then it goes to the left and I think that's where a lot of the candy and sweet treats are so we're just gonna head straight back there but at least I'm taking in the AC. Oh, they got a bunch of new Kit Kats. I'm excited, they got gold Kit Kats. I don't even know what flavor that is but it's just gold on top there. They've got orange, orange Kit Kats, milk and tea Kit Kats, which is kind of interesting. And these are $12.95. I've had these ones before. They're pretty good. And then I had the melon ones. I think they also have strawberry over here. Oh yeah, a little strawberry Kit Kat. If we're gonna get one of these, we definitely gotta get something else that's a little bit more adventurous. Maybe I'll get the gold one or the orange one. Last time I came, I ended up getting these uh, little like crabs and they were really uh crunchy and i remember i got like one of the pinchers and you eat these whole and i was like oh man i want to get something different i know that they have like dehydrated squid here well this one's hot we don't want to get that so maybe i'll try this i think that's literally squid i'm not even too sure it tells you usually in the back here seasoned squid 6.99 oh boy Japan definitely has the most amount of snacks that you can choose from and I got a lot of them I got some good sweet ones and I wanted to live on the edge a little bit again uh, So I ended up getting orange Kit Kats. I kind of felt like that was coming and also I got a little card that says uh, snacks in Japanese, but I got uh, Orange Kit Kats because I kind of want to try it. You know what I mean? I think last time I got melon ones and then I got these it looks like little mini ice cream cones the box caught my eye mostly, but I think it's something that I'm going to like. Oh, wait. Is this a kit to build something? Oh, boy. I think I done goofed. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then I got uh, some of this. This is uh, seasoned squid. Seasoned uh, dehydrated squid. So, <laughs> I don't know which one to start off with. I feel like I need to have something in, like, a taste before I get to the squid. So, I think I'm going to go Kit Kats. This was, uh, I think it was $12.99 I was telling you guys. The picture was hanging there, and these are individual wraps. So thank, luckily for that. But yeah, a little, I've never had an orange Kit Kat before. It probably just tastes like orange on the inside. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. You ever see that episode of The Office? It's like, I can't remember it is. Break me off a piece of that Chrysler car. Oh, these are very nice. The orange isn't overpowering. I like these. On the back of the package, it says, have a break, have a Kit Kat. And I like these. I think I'll get the melon one next time. And since, you know, we, we got a little orange Kit Kat taste going on here, I think we're going to crack into the squid. Crack into the squid. Crack it. <laughs> oh, boy. 
this is always the scariest part. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to seafood and stuff like that. I mean, I eat calamari, right? I don't know what the texture is gonna be like. I can't feel it through the like wrapping. Okay, first, the smell. So this is seasoned kind of uh, just crab. Uh, not crab, seasoned squid. <laughs> okay, all right. I think I need, my, I, need, I need my drink first. I need my drink ready. I need the orange Kit Kat ready. I'm opening another Kit Kat. There we go. It's a little melty, but that'll do. This is a good chaser. And here we go. First, should I smell it first? I'm going for it. Kind of smells like beef jerky. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it tastes just like beef jerky too. It tastes exactly like beef jerky. I don't taste any squid. Wow. I'm, I'm like kind of shocked by this. I can't believe I just ate dehydrated squid and I liked it. Honestly, it tastes exactly like beef jerky. It even had like a beef flavor to it. I'm shocked. It's very chewy and uh, I kind of enjoyed the flavor. I didn't even eat the Kit Kat. Look at that. And I still have to get into the cones here. I don't even know what these are. I don't know. I think I just got something that I, I have to build. Either my palate is expanding or I'm just not trying things too adventurous enough that, you know, kind of make me not like it. Honestly, I've liked everything that we've had today. I'm going to open up this though. I'm going to see what I did here. I think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is something I'm supposed to like kind of decorate and build. Popping cooking. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> it's like I make my own ice cream cone. I mean, I might as well, I, but I don't know what to do. This is powder. Oh, I need to make ice cream, actually. I need water. Oh, my Lord, this is a project. I think, uh, I think I'll just stick to my Kit Kats and my squid. <laughs> well, now that I got some squid to chew on, I think we're going to keep moving along and hop over to Italy. I told you we're going to skip America, but... Uh, at least we got to get some good food in Japan. I'm still sad about those ice cream cones. I should have read the box. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what your favorite thing that I snacked on today was. I thought it was a good bunch of, uh, you know, mixed uh, items. And if you guys want to see any of my other videos too, I'll put the links in the description because I've done this type of video probably, I think at least four times now. And I think I've tried something different each time. But here it is, Italy. And usually I can find some snacks in here. Not in the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, liquor area here, but more or less in this other side. Oh, but they do got some nice snacks here. Hold the phone, we got some cookies. Cookies and ice cream cones. Look, this is kind of exactly what I was thinking the other one was. Wow, I might actually get this now. Look at that! I was trying to eat a nice, like, well, kind of like a cone, uh, like, cake over in Japan, but it was a build your own one, and then they had one here, and this was only $2.95, and then I also got a bag of almond cookies. Honestly, these are, like, some good snacks, and this is exactly what I was looking for. I've had this before, I think. I hope this isn't going to make a big mess. We'll find out. Oh, wow, this is nice. Look at that. I'm trying to take it off. It's like a little tiny ice cream cone but it's full of caramel. So here we go. Cheers to the uh, cone. The end of the cone is always the best. I like this. Very nifty. And now we've got some almond cookies. This was $6.49 for this whole entire bag. Crunchy almond cookies. Mmm. These are my favorite things so far. I'm obsessed already. They got that perfect crunchy exterior and then kind of like a soft center. And you can't go wrong for $6.49. These are some good cookies. And I love that I'm just hanging out here. The music's playing. We're in Italy eating almond cookies and ice cream cones. If it wasn't so hot out, I'd probably ask myself to dance with this beautiful music. 
And at last, but certainly not at least, we have made it to Germany. And uh, of course, we can go into the Werther's store, the Caramel Clunch, and uh, get uh, some Werther's. But I, I want to see what else they got. They always have good stuff. Oh, and it just smells so good. Only because we already got popcorn over in uh, Canada. So now I kind of want to get something different. I mean, you can get every single flavor of Warther's under the sun, though. On top of the Warther's, they have a bunch of chocolates you can get. But I'm kind of interested in this over here. Looks like a big old bag of cookies. Look at that. It's a big selection. You get a variety of different types of cookies and wafers. And then they even have a wafer one here with all different types of wafers. I don't know which one to get. I kind of want to get the wafer one. And you know what? This is only $5 for this gigantic bag. This is so cheap. An assortment of wafers is definitely something uh, you probably would find at my grandma's house. And I'm kind of proud that I bought it. $5 for a big bag of wafers. Oh my lord, I almost ripped the whole bag open. That would have been a mess. But look at this. Oh, I wonder what this one is. So good. Everybody's got to love a nice crispy wafer. Look at that. Seriously, this is such a grandparent sweet treat, but I grew up on them and I love it. And I, now I got a whole bunch of them. I got a lot of snacks that I'm going to be taking home with me. Well, I think we officially uh, made our way all the way around World Showcase. Now it's time to pack up all my snacks, head home, see Gracie Grill, and uh, end the video. But I had a lot of fun today. I think we did a good job snacking around World Showcase. We started here in China and made our way all the way around the whole entire uh, park. And it was so much fun. There's a man out there in a boat. Looks like he might be fishing. I still think uh, my favorite thing was the cookies in Italy. And I love the wafers in Germany. Uh, but everything else, like there wasn't anything that I hated. Like everything I loved. And uh, it was a great experience. Now I hope maybe we can uh, get home before the rain comes in. I see them storms, uh, storms are brewing. I'm looking for a Dalmatian named Gracie. There she is. I got a bunch of snacks, but none of it's for you. What are you doing? You want to go for a walk? Huh? Come on, let's go for a walk. And with that, I think we are done here. I've got lots of snacks that I can uh, have and snack on for a while. Got the cookies, the Kit Kats. The wafers. Look at this. I got a whole bag of wafers still. I'm still snacking too. <laughs> I just love wafers. And then I don't even know what I got here. Oh, the potato chips. Oh, that pork ball potatoes. That doesn't smell good. <laughs> I forgot that I have all that in there. But, anywho's. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time.